It's been so long since I've done one of these. Hey there guys, this is Samantha, and today I finally have another Top 5 Wednesday for you guys. Yes, it's been a while. It's been a long while, but I finally have one for you today. So, let's get down to the business. Let's get down to the Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Laney, and I'll have a link to her channel and the Goodreads group down, group down below. That is where I will have it. But this week's topic is favorite chapter headings. So yes, let's get right into this. The first two that I want to show you guys are for the same reasons. The first one is I did not like this book so much. But I love the chapter headings. It is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And this technically isn't the headings, but it counts because it's always at the beginning of a chapter. But right before the beginning of a new chapter, it'll have parts of the Simon Snow series, which I love it when books have like, oh, I don't know how to explain this. When there's like a story within a story kind of thing. And then the main story, you get all of the information about, but the, the, little story I guess you don't get really any information it's just kind of touched on but I love it when you get like little glimpses right before each chapter and I just like it when books do that so yeah the next books that I have to show you guys are because of the same reason they show you like a little glimpse of a different story at the beginning of each heading each chapter heading and that is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson and again I don't I still don't have the first book with me the beginning of each chapter, if I can show it to you, oh my gosh, not this one, it has like little quotes from the, the um, it tells a different character story other than Vin's, and I just love it so much, oh my goodness, I just love it when books do this, like I've said already. This next book that I chose, I chose because just the heading and then when they put chapter one, it's actually really, really pretty and I just really like it. It is... Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo or just the whole Grisha trilogy. It has like just this pretty little design going on right there and it has it on every single chapter. Let me show you. And then the actual chapter ones are even prettier. They're just so pretty and such a pretty design. So yes, I like this one. The last two books I'm going to show you guys are just because there's pretty pictures in them and the chapter headings and it just makes me excited. Yes, that's sad, I know, but I'm going to show them to you anyways. This next one doesn't necessarily have the pictures on the chapter headings, but they're at the beginning of a chapter, so it counts. And that is Series Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. And they always have pretty little pictures at the beginning of each chapter. Let me show you another one if you've never read these books. See, chapter 4, there's a little fishy on it. I just love the pictures in this book, they're so pretty. And the last one should come of no surprise to anybody. Yes, that is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And if you've never picked up a Harry Potter book before, then you won't know that there's always pictures at the top of each heading. And they're just all so cute. And I just love them all. This makes me want to reread Harry Potter. I'm probably going to reread Harry Potter soon. So that's probably going to happen soon. 